everybody. How are y'all doing tonight? I can't hear you. Let's try this again. How are y'all doing tonight? Yeah! That's better. We need to get fired up for the FCCLA soundtrack that's about to rock your world. Yeah, that's right. We have some downloaded tunes that'll get your blood pumping. So if you have any special requests tonight, just come see me. I'm Brianne Hoagie, or my co-dame, DJ Emma Almer, and we'll set you up. Yeah, that's right. We're here to drop a few beats from the highlights of our FCCLA chapter. So streaming live, for you, from our FCCLA soundtrack, let's get this party started. So let's get on the floor, and move to the groove, and we'll show you how we succeed in FCCLA. One of our highlights is our membership campaign. In a little over a decade, our membership has increased from 14 to 58 members. Wow, that is a 300% increase in the last 12 years. Our membership campaign worked really well this year, since we gained 16 new members just this year. As a reminder to attend our first meeting, our chapter held a scavenger hunt by hiding slips of paper around the school with the date, time, and location on each slip. Students that found those notes could exchange them with our advisor for a healthy fruit snack. To further our membership campaign, the two of us, along with our publicizing promote team, planned a haunted school event. Our set crew decorated the entire old high school and designed the promotional flyers. We each had different responsibility and themed areas. Brianna and I served as guides while the terrifying soundtracks played in the background. We opened our haunted school to the general public and hosted over 180 victims in a little over two hours. It was a spectacular evening, taking in just over $900 for our chapter funds. Our chapter meets once a month to go over our upcoming events and to recognize our recent accomplishments. Bran, along with our other chapter officers, helped to plan and oversee all of our yearly activities. So in other words, if our chapter gets off key, they help to reset the pitch. Our meetings are held during the school day in the facts classroom. We have a monthly agenda that we follow as our meeting guide. Since Brianne is our chapter treasurer, it is her responsibility to monitor our chapter funds. Our advisor also posts that meeting agenda on our local FCCLA website. Other meetings that our chapter attends throughout the year are the Region 6 Fall Rally, the Fall Cluster Summit, our Capital Shadow Days, our Midwinter Region 6 Star Event Competition, along with our state and national conferences. Speaking of competition highlights, we have 91% of our members competing in star events this year. Last year, our chapter alone advanced 30 members from the state to the national convention held in Orlando, Florida. We also sent 45 members to the Region 6 Fall Rally and 7 members to the Fall Summit in Minneapolis. And here we are, jammed at the National Star Event Competition, where our chapter advanced 28 members from our state conference in April. Each year, our chapter hosts an annual Rose Reception, where our projects, activities, and accomplishments are shared. You could say it's kind of like the Grammys for FCCLA. The Rose Reception helps us to recognize all of our chapter members throughout the year. As chapter members, we receive our annual awards, certificates, and medals. Each member also receives a red rose, since the rose is a national FCCLA flower, and this ceremony marks the time for reflection. The Rose Reception, along with our numerous public relation efforts, help us to share with our community all the wonderful things that our chapter has done throughout the year. This past year, we had over 125 people attend our annual recognition ceremony. So as a music producer, I recommend you come early, otherwise you won't get a good seat. Moving on to our leadership activities, our chapter officers meet in the fall to plan a program of work. Our program of work is an outline of our chapter goals and who is responsible for each area. This year, we had two Region 6 officers, Region Vice President Nellie Branchot and Region Secretary Riley Burnside. As a part of their region work, our chapter benefited by having opportunities to lead at region meetings. We hosted this year's Region 6 Fall Rally at the Detroit Lakes Community and Cultural Center. It was our job to set up the soundtrack for the opening session. Since Brianne has always liked the stage line line of things, she decided to run for state officer position this year. That's right, and I did succeed in being honored with the state officer position. We also had two members that were elected to state peer ed team. Brianne, along with our two region officers, attended the Legislative Capital Shadow Days, where they were able to meet with our famous stars, such as our legislative leaders, and explain the importance of FCCLA. Several of our chapter members hosted a baby shower event for children in Africa and foster care. 
The members collected 10 full totes of various items needed by the two groups, and 25 community people attended this event. These members developed strong leadership roles by planning, developing, and implementing the entire event activities. Our chapter also takes the lead in providing daycare for parents of young children at our fall and winter parent-teacher conferences. As a chapter officer, I actively seek out members to take on leadership responsibilities in events such as daycare, dance responsibilities, and concession sales. Speaking of dances, Brianna, our Sadie Hawkins dance is an example of our chapter officers taking the lead to hire a DJ, find chaperones, stop concessions, and, and dance. Hey, Emma, remember how I got on the floor and led the chicken dance? SCCLA provides us lots of opportunities to develop our dancing skills along with our leadership skills. Participating in STAR events, promoting our chapter through media and word of mouth, as well as running for region and state office. The music clips are like an endless album. Uh, Gran, that album does seem endless when we think about all the cooperative, competitive, and individualized activities our chapter participates in throughout the year. Like I said earlier, we have over 91% of our members competing in 12 different star event categories. Everything from individual events, see what we've done, to multiple team events in complex categories, such as applied technology and national programs in action. We also have multiple illustrated talks, focus on children, promote and publicize chapter service, and interpersonal communications projects. Whew. I get tired of thinking about all the additions and rehearsals each one of them have made to get to this point. We also have many cooperative activities we participate in. One of my favorites is the annual ECFE Santa Days, where chapter members get to help the children play games, decorate crafts, and eat yummy graham cracker snacks. Our chapter also helps at the annual Lake Park Pumpkin Fest. We provide multiple workers for the Little Miss contest, the children's craft table, oh, and my specialty part, sitting at the pumpkin registration table. Another community group we cooperate with is the Lake Park Beautification Club by sponsoring multiple trees in the Lake Park Holiday Parade of Trees. This year's event drew in over 250 community members and visitors during the Thanksgiving break. A free will donation of over $1,500 was collected to help beautify our city. All of our cooperative efforts are a great way to publicize and promote our chapter to our community at large. Community service is our chapter's lead area. One of our projects complements the Children's Outreach Project. Our chapter has raised over $500 in funds to help fulfill children's needs. Some of these funds have been used to help support our local Children's Miracle Network and our local giving tree. To get our chapter involved in helping to raise funds for those programs, each member donated two dozen decorated holiday-themed cookies to be sold at our annual Holiday Expo in November. Each cookie was sold for 25 cents each. The cookie sales run over $200 for our children's projects. Another group worked hard to raise funds for the American Cancer Society by sponsoring a pink raffle, pink dress of day, and a pink girl session on breast cancer awareness. Another team called themselves Santas for Seniors. They made gift bags and delivered them to the two senior housing developments in our community the week before Christmas. One of our more fun service events was for the children's programs. We hosted a cabin fever night filled with various activities, including board games, volleyball, basketball, movies, <laughs> oh, of course, our personal favorite, dance, dance and karaoke. Our interpersonal communications team has gathered over 70 pounds of treats to send to our troops. Nearly 40 chapter members went door to door on Halloween evening collecting treats for the troops. As a part of their follow-up, they went over to the elementary and had the elementary students write letters to the troops to help write their holiday season. We have already touched on some of the resources we need to help fund our various service projects, but as you can see from our budget, a large chapter takes a lot of cash flow to keep our activities going. On our budget chart, you will see that we currently have a balance of just over $4,000. However, we'll still have additional expenses for national conference, and we'll be receiving income from the concession sales that we have done throughout the year. We have several resources we use to help us accomplish our annual goals. Our biggest fundraisers are the annual wrestling tournament and selling concessions at various volleyball and basketball games. We have also built and maintained many business partnerships this year, including the State Bank of Lake Park, the Lake Park Insurance, and we received the Delta Dental Grant. And let's not forget about selling the delicious grade of bread or our local Walmart that helps us out with gift cards for our various project supplies. Another 
activity that our chapter does throughout the year is an adopt a child event each December. This year, our chapter sponsored three children. Our chapter has focused on four main national programs this year. They include Stop the Violence, Facts, Student Body, and Community Service. I was really inspired at Minnesota's Fall Summit by the Rachel's Challenge speaker, so I worked closely with my school counselor to ensure that this program came to our school. Our Peacemaker Grant covered most of the expenses to bringing Rachel's Challenge to our school. This was a great step in promoting our Stop the Violence program. Our student body team has been working really closely with elementary students on teaching them how to eat right, be fit, and make healthy choices. And our community service teams have worked very hard to raise awareness and funds for the children's programs and the American Cancer Society. To keep our community informed about all the wonderful things that our chapter has done throughout the year, we have had an amazing public relation efforts from all of our various teams. In January, we were interviewed by KDLM Radio in Detroit Lakes promoting our National FCCLA Week activities and in April by KRJB Radio in Ada discussing state conference and our star events. Our chapter has also had 15 news releases to seven different media print, including the Lakes Area Connection, the Fargo Forum, our Minnesota FCCLA Horizon, and our national FCCLA Magazine Teen Times. Our local FCCLA website also boasts over 20 pages and 100 pictures of various activities our chapter members participate in. Most recently, our public relations team secured business sponsorship to fund ICC t-shirts for all of our chapter members. During National SCCLA Week, our chapter designed banners and hung them in our local business windows. We also had events for us at our local bank and convenience store center. While we feel that our chapter showcase relates to all eight of the FCCLA purposes, we feel that the following four are the most relevant. Purpose number one, to promote opportunity for personal development and preparation for adult life. We have worked with several adult groups in our community in our community that have encouraged us to develop our skills for our current and future needs as we enter our independent lives. Purpose number four is to encourage individual and group involvement in helping achieve global cooperation and harmony. Through our national programs such as Stop the Violence, we have been able to work with agencies such as Rachel's Challenge to promote not only local harmony but global harmony as our students grow up and leave our building. Purpose number five is to promote greater understanding between youth and adults. We have worked with several adult groups in our community, including cooperative agencies such as local businesses, school administration, and community service groups. And finally, purpose number six is to provide opportunities for making decisions and assuming responsibilities. We have had many projects in which we have had to assume responsibility for. The Children's Miracle Network and the American Cancer Society are two examples of these projects. That concludes our soundtrack highlight presentation. We hope that you have been able to hear all the wonderful things that our chapter has done throughout the year. And remember, we're not done recording yet. Our FCCLA brownies are always looking for new gigs to work at. We now welcome any questions you may have.